Hey right, guys, my name is Ben. This is Andrew. And uh, today we're going to be reacting to the Volume 1 soundtrack complete. Um, we're going to be going through all of them. Um, I went ahead and merged um, Red Light Roses Part 1 and Part 2. I will uh, pause in the middle to maybe talk about the first one a little bit, and then we'll move on to the second half. Uh, but one, one video. Um, I'm not going to listen to all three versions of I Burn. I'm just going to listen to the original. And then the, the remix and the, the yellow trailer one, uh, we won't worry about. Um, and then the, we're only going to listen to one version of From Shadows. So, but the, the list will be, um, this will be the day. Red Light Roses Part 1 and Part 2. We're going to do Mirror Mirror. Then we're going to do From Shadows. Then I Burn. Then Gold. Then I May Fall. And then Wings. All right, so we're going to go pretty much in that order. So this is, uh, these are Volume 1 music. Yeah, do okay, it. so let's just uh, let's just go from from there. Do it. This is the opener. That was nice. I like that. <laughs> don't knock your teeth out, bro. What? Don't, knock, don't, don't break your nose. Don't break your nose. <laughs> Gotta relax. I wish I could play guitar like that. Oh, this is definitely getting instant blocked, by the way. Oh, really? <laughs> I'm not to dispute this extra fast. Oh my gosh. Because it's straight up music that it catches. Yeah. Uh. Try to dance away. I don't know. I gotta show off all your moves, but you know. Yeah, so you gotta give him a little sneak peek. Well, a little taste. Oh. Ooh, I like that little like build up right there with the uh, <laughs> yeah, I like that. Boom. I actually like that. That was the uh, the full opener. It's the so full you've, opener. Yeah, you've yeah. heard the first part, but the the full part wasn't exactly there for the whole thing. I kind of like that. I like the song. I like like the premise of how it's talking about how they don't love the view as a little girl or love you as someone mm -hmm. little, but they don't know what you're going to bloom into. Soon you'll be a warrior. Or, yeah, and everyone, I mean, in the beginning, everyone was pretty much calling her a child the entire time. Because that's even like, but that can even be like a opener, because I noticed that was the opener for the whole volume one, mm -hmm. but it really could... That could translate in all, th all four girls because no one really <laughs> expected them to hit the level of what they did as early as possible. I mean, they were doing a mission that wasn't even, oh, technically, the, I don't know this because that's a volume two thing, right? Are they going no, to... no, you can say it. Oh, okay. We're watching this after we finished the first two volumes. We're watching okay. the first volume. So, 
soundtrack, then this is I mean, even Austrian gave, gave him a mission that was apparently for not till next year's so, you know yeah. level of students and they surpassed it so i mean that could be a song on that means so many different things but if we're talking about straight ruby then yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I, like so, I mean there's a there's a bunch of bunch of cool things you're gonna get out of this so but that was uh this will be the day like i said that was the opener um out of what you know which opener do you like better because now that you have two options the first one, the second one. You just heard the second one, you know, a bunch of times. So I have to wait till I hear the full second one because that I like that one a lot. That was that one was really good. I do like that one this a one? lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was uh, pretty cool. I would have to hear the full second one when we do the second soundtrack for volume mm -hmm. two. And I'll have to listen to that full song, but that one was pretty good. Yeah, that one was pretty fire. All right, so <laughs> let's move on to Red Light Roses Part One and Two. Um, Red Light Roses Part One was in the trailer okay. for Ruby, yeah, and the Red Light Roses Part Two was when they were fighting the Death Stalker. And the Nevermore, okay. uh, Scorpion the Bird. Okay, yeah, right. Gotcha, so gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Uh, let's uh, let's go. By Jeff Williams and his daughter. like that very good yeah yeah definitely um definitely just gave away all the characters right there for sure <laughs> but now and then the beast beauty and the beast with blake and then yellow burns because burns as in uh she angers you know she gets stronger when she you know white is always yearning she's always you know Trying to be top of her game and then Ruby, well. Burdened by a royal oh, test. Royal, oh, yeah, burdened by a royal test. That's what it was. Yep. And then. I always save Irish music when I hear this. I think of like Conor McGregor walking down the aisle when I hear this. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's like Irish kind of music. nuts right, that was pretty long that's pretty long you held that for a while do you know what i'm just gonna let it play it's gonna play. I'm just gonna play. Oh, did it just, tra it just transfer? Yeah. 
Where Nor's near. Nice. I couldn't take it, couldn't stand another minute. Couldn't bear another day without you in it. All of the joy that I had known for all my life was stripped away from me the minute that you died. To have you in my life was all I ever wanted But now without you I'm a soul forever haunted Can't help but feel that I had taken you for granted No way in hell that I can ever comprehend this I wasn't dreaming when they told me you were gone I was part of waking feeling that they had to be wrong How could you leave me when you thought that you would stay Now I'm stuck inside of every every single living day It's like a movie but there's not a happy ending Every scene fades black and there's no pretending This little fairy tale doesn't seem to end well Cause the night is turning up and I'm awake from the spell I know it is this <laughs> I was not ready. <laughs> I 
Was that Mercury just dabbing? Is that who that was? Uh, someone. Uh. <laughs> I do. It was someone. Yeah. I will neither confirm nor deny. That caught me on guard. Okay. Okay. So what? What do you? What are your thoughts about that one? That one was. That one has cool. a lot of meaning to it. Yeah, that one. Uh, yeah, it seemed like it was cutting down to the roots there. Uh, I like how it started off with each color, but it looked like at the end it was white and red, like battling with themselves, kind of like even the thoughts and. Well, like it so that was about Ruby and um, what it, it's it, people have determined that to be her mother. Oh, the one that's in the white, yes. Oh, so the one that she lost, um. Oh, I see. Hmm. So we learn in volume two that Ruby's mom went on a mission and never came back. So if you applied this to um this to that story you would take you would say that she believes her mission um which i mean apparently she failed yeah. right apparently because she went on a mission and never came back yeah. you don't know what that mission was yeah it hasn't been stated but apparently based on these words she doesn't want she said don't do what i did don't waste your life in vain yeah right so it would be assumed that she wasted her life in vain so she she sacrificed it for nothing apparently mm -hmm. based based on these it could be something different but that's just what i've always taken from it yeah so okay. but that that would be what i because here you have red and then i don't know if you see right here but it's white yeah so um it's a white cape which is um what was in one of the trailers yeah, yeah, yeah. so um the very first trailer yeah, very yeah, first yeah. one where the where um he, where it kind of burst in a road rose petals but there's a white person in front of the grave yeah yeah right or a white person in a white coat i should say yeah, yeah so that is assumed to be her talking to her mother okay there's a lot deeper should be quiet. um there's a lot deeper than a lot of people realize in the beginning because yeah. you're so focused on the fight which are really cool and it's great background music but there's so much more content in these words and you're like oh, yeah. oh my gosh okay I apologize for any background noise do ASMR from now on? yeah do the ASMR sounds pretty fire how <laughs> about that okay so now we're going with mirror mirror this is the one that was in Weiss's opener okay right so we'll uh we'll see what's going on with this one right yep
<laughs> I like that little piano. It's, that's hard, bro. It goes hard. So what are your uh, what are your thoughts on that one? It's depressing. Depressing? Yeah. Why? I'm the loneliest of them all. Oh, really, your dad's too rich to talk to you. Golly. Why don't you talk to your daughter? Too rich. <laughs> too busy counting money, bro. Uh, nah, yeah, too busy. <laughs> Who's all right? My daughter. Yeah, I tell her I'm counting stacks. I got time for that. <laughs> So what is this? Uh, does this do anything for you about uh, Weiss? Weiss's character? Not to, it didn't really give me much that I already knew. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, sorry if I missed something, guys. I, it's, <laughs> it's pretty much just the focus on um, the loneliness that yeah, she yeah, that yeah. she has. She's saying that. I mean, to some, for someone to have so much and to be so lonely, that's yeah, yeah, like yeah. that is like. It's like the common, you know, thing you see in like anything ever. Like the rich are always sad because they feel lonely and money doesn't solve all their problems. Yeah. While like the normal people are like, oh, we don't have money, but we're happy. Oh, we're chilling uh, broke. We're broke, but we're chilling. <laughs> we're chilling though. Okay. <laughs> so the next one is from Shadows. This is the Blake one. This is the one from the Blake uh, trailer. Black. <laughs> shadows. So from Shadows. He... All right, Jeff Blake. Oh, look, it's that guy from Bleach. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Ooh, hold up. Food's here. Okay, I'm back. Um, we're gonna restart these seven seconds that we heard. Um, yeah, man, because that was a lot, though. That was a, that was a lot of guns. Spoiler. No, I'm kidding. Um, so, so we're back. I had to go get my food. Okay, uh, hi. Back at it like a crack at it. <laughs> How savage he looks in this picture. He does look pretty savage. Adam's like, they're like, what animal are you mixed with, Adam? A demon. Oh, 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 okay. That's a W, brother. It's all in you. Oh, is that for you? No. Oh, okay, I was saying I totally copped that. Not sponsored by Dr. Park, by the way. This sounds like a heist. 
robber train, by the robber train, by the robber train, by the robber train. I don't even know what to think of this music. Like, I don't know, like, what like, type of music you would even call this. Uh. Yeah, that was pretty sick. I thought it was the thing glitching. I could play piano like that. <laughs> right. What? What do you do? Something. Okay. Um, so for him, his name is Adam Torres. So the kind of animal he's based on is bull. bull. Mm. Torres is yeah, the yeah. symbol of a bull. So you gotcha. said. So what'd you get out of that one? Oh, it's kind of cool. It's talking about how they trap, brought into no life and had no rights and everything else, and then they're bursting out of the shadows. Ah! I mean, they were pretty much saying that uh, they've been discriminated against and had everything pretty much stolen from them. Yep. 
So they're uh like you're calling us monsters and all this other stuff and you're taking away all this stuff and uh we're just gonna take it back. We're gonna come back from the shadows you put us in and we're gonna we're gonna take it back. So and then it fades away after it's just Blake. So that's when she starts kind of like that's when she leaves. Yep. So then it's like mm, that's a, at that point you can say that she doesn't necessarily feel the same. So but I now think, we have oh yeah how do you I think Adam is the leader of the White Fang. You think he's the the head honcho? Head honcho, and the reason I say this is now that I'm having smartness in my brain is I remember in the trailer when. He tried to kill all those passengers on the train. Mm-hmm. Or she said, what about the passengers on the train? And he kind of was like, what about them? Like, he had at that point, like, she had talked, because I remember her talking about that when the leaders had changed roles, mm-hmm. that the new leader kind of had, like, no remorse. Like, he was doing to do whatever it took to get to what the White Fang wanted. Okay. And when Adam showing, like, no remorse for human life at that point, okay. he, she was kind of like, that was like the turn. I feel like she had already planned leaving you could kind okay. of like in that instance, but that kind of like was a a hint for us to see what Adam's thought process was. Okay. And like they were both about the white thing, but he was about that whole like wanting to do whatever it takes. While she kind of was like, I want I want us to get our justice and I want us to get what we deserve, yeah. but I'm not willing to hurt humans in the process. Kind okay. Of thing. So yeah. don't fight hate with hate, but fight hate with. Eh, not necessarily. I mean, because they were still stealing stuff. So, I mean, it's kind of like she was okay, I guess, with that part. But she wasn't willing to put people's lives on the line, I guess, kind of thing. Oh, okay. okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she was okay with, like, like kind of like Robin Hood, how he would steal from the rich and okay. give to the poor. Sure. Like, she was okay with that stuff. But when it started to, like, where they started harming the rich, the humans, and then she was like, okay, I'm not willing to hurt people over this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. She's, I yeah, okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, but yeah, you, yeah, think, yeah. you think Adam's the so leader? So I think Adam might be the leader because he has that mindset. Like, he's okay. Ready to, ready, he's ready to kill. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. I could see it. That song kind of just made me think about it, so, yeah. So now we're going with uh, the yellow opener, I Burn. This okay. is not the remix version that you heard in the club. This is the actual version. Okay. The remix version had all four of the songs remixed into one. Got if you, you look at Yang's trailer, it has... Um, Red Light Roses, part one. Okay. It has Mirror Mirror, it has From Shadows, and it has I Burn, all kind of remixed into one. Because oh, okay. she's at a club, and they're, yeah, that's yeah, kind they're of the DJing. whole thing. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. DJing it. So it's yeah, like, yeah. now this is the original I Burn. So but let's, uh, let's go. Desire, thought the 
Matrix. You can see the truth till I just burn down the booth. Human torch can't fuck with me. Johnny Blaze, suspect B. Strike him quick, lightning fast. Melt them bitches down to ash. Oh, okay. Strike them quick, ignite the scene. Shit will never be the same. Feel the fury of my flame. Beg for mercy, it won't help. Embrace the ending you would dealt. Seems you fucks will never learn. Now sit back and watch me burn. Very Yang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very Yang. Very Yang esque. cool that was a cool one it definitely is pretty much just talking about her personality kind of like like i'm more than meets the eye bro you might think i'm this like little girl hot thing or whatever but got the hands fam got the hands <laughs> what you think about the rap in the middle i like the little rap in the middle too i like how he was cursing but they had like the, words the lyrics yeah, yeah, yeah. weren't yeah, accurate yeah. definitely dropped the f-bomb and it was saying chomps <laughs> like no no it's not what he said <laughs> you lied to us <laughs> but that, that was good i like that song that song was actually kind of cool but yeah very uh very yang like yeah so no. that one i would say out of all the songs so far that one fits that what the character's personality the one that's made for purse per like yeah. spot on I don't think this one had like any like hidden meaning to it. Nah, it was just straight so up. I think like, the first three like you had. They had more. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They have more like you like yeah like meaning behind it. But I, this one was yeah, straight, just like straight this up. is who I am. Like, yeah, that just shows her personality. I mean, like she said at the end of chat or vol you know, towards the end of volume two, you know, she just wants to be out there. That's kind of like why she became a hunter. She wants to just be a, you know exactly. explore. Exactly. She's, she's open minded, crazy. That's she just yep. All right, so now we have uh, Gold. Um, I I know the song, but I'm trying to remember where it's from. I'm, I'll remember it pretty fast, okay. but um, I can't give you any details. I don't, I don't, I don't quite remember right here. I think I know, but I don't know. But, okay. So, but, uh, but let's uh, let's go. Oh yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah, I got it. That sounds like Christmas music. <laughs> That sounds like Mariah Carey. <laughs>
quick uh, against Shadow Lady. <laughs> Can't get away from the recommended videos, but <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that was gold. Yeah. So I mean, I what, what you got out of that? Anything? Uh, too crazy. Just like yeah, yeah. you know, just yeah, a pretty was, pretty good song. Yeah, it's just good. Such a song, pretty much. Yeah, yeah I, didn't, I didn't really get anything out of that either. I haven't like watched all the lyrics, so this is like my first time reading the lyrics. Yeah, I didn't get much of it. I mean, I know more what they're talking about than you do, but. Yeah. For me, being in volume eight doesn't do anything for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, I'm actually gonna push I May Fall at the end. Um, so, we're gonna do wings. Yeah. I wanna do I May Fall last. So, uh, so, we're gonna do wings by Jeff. Okay. And uh, let's, let's go. Oh, this is the finale. Mm hmm. Dude, I could, I dig that bass. <laughs> I was gonna pull up a picture of a lighter and do a lighter. <laughs>
Okay, I'm actually gonna talk on this one. Um, I actually haven't ever read the lyrics. I think I've only I've heard the song, but I've never like listened to it. Yeah. So this is you can consider this a pure reaction for me. Yeah. Um, that hit. Yeah. That hit hard. So that is based on Monty Ohm's um, pretty much his motto, which was like always move forward, like find your find your purpose yeah. and move forward, like. Well, I was like, gonna say that almost didn't even really like. I mean, it pertains to the show, but like that was almost like just a real life like. That was, I don't. I think that was the embodiment of Monty Ohm's motto, yeah, which is to keep moving forward, yeah, and that hits hard. It yeah. applies like it. It is. It is in a very, uh, very. I I I would I would say I'm the. I would I take this song really really hard to heart. Yeah. So I'm I'm in a very uh similar spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So where I want to pretty much go forward. Yeah. yeah I want yeah. to find that thing. Right. So yeah. I'm so with me it'd be streaming. Like yeah. I wanna I wanna stream. I wanna yeah. create content. Yeah, right. Yeah. I wanna find something I can do that can make like people happy. Yeah. So and now um, I mean, I have several ideas that I'm working on, but this, like, uh, this is the first time I've like listened to the lyrics and read them and soaked them in. I've I've heard them and it, I've just had them in the background of my stream or whatever, but I've never like listened to them. Yeah. So it's it's digging into me like really hard right now. Yeah. So that is a that, and that's what Monty stood for. So like yeah. that was that was uh, very very good. That was really so, good song. No, it was deep. It was super deep. It was like that real life stuff, man. Like you know. Feel like you're hitting that bottom pit, but you know, just go forward, man. And everyone goes through those moments in life, and that's like I said, that's yeah. that's Monty's whole thing. I'm pretty sure that's what the entire purpose of the song was. I, yeah, I can't yeah, yeah. think of a relation to the show. I mean, obviously, it applies because they need to keep moving forward. They need to move forward with yeah, their yeah, progression yeah. of hunt, being a hunting and huntresses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and it does apply to them, but I feel like it applies to well, it, it applies said. to them, but. There's a secondary one that just overpowers it, and that would be the application to us, the yeah. listeners. Yeah. So it may not be whether the intention was or wasn't to affect us. It it is. Yeah. So it it's so much. Uh, I feel as if it hits so much harder than any uh, any other song I've I've heard here. Yeah. No, that was so, but one. I mean that makes sense because that's his motto. That's his yeah. whole entire thing, and I've heard his motto a billion times, and it makes sense. Yeah. So this is just like, yeah. like a truck. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I was uh, um, I was I was soaking it. Uh, yeah. I don't know if you read my face, but rewatch yeah. it if you want to see my face. I was I was really I was soaking it. it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. it was I good. Like it. So, I like that a lot. All right, this one this one comes back later, um, in volume uh, volume three. Okay, but um, this is a great song. Fantastic, I may fall. I love the song. So, uh, you ready? Yep. Any comments on the last one? Anything? Or you already did? Yeah, yeah. Like, oh. that one was just like a real, right, life, right. Like real life hit in the face kind of song. Alright, so this is the last one of uh, Volume 1. So, uh, well, second to last one. But you'll hear it in yeah. Volume 3. So. Got you. He's so good on the guitar. I really like that. <laughs> He's so good. I like that one. I like that one too, actually. When it dropped, yeah, and then it came back. Like I felt like when it hit that drop, it was the same as when it came back. Yeah, like yeah, that, yeah. it was. It's so hard to do that music. Yeah, that's why yeah. I like. Uh, that's why I like his music because yeah. it, it hits just crazy hard. But um, no. With with this one, like, what'd you get? What do you uh, think the like? What do you think it meant and all that? Well, it meant that one day. 
we will fall, but it's not going to be today, and it's not going to be on your terms. It'll be on my terms. Um, yeah, like, like I'll like, lose one like, day. Like there it, will be days where it does darken, and there will be days where everything does fall apart. But today is not the day. Like, bro. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, like you. Like I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna lose. <laughs> But it ain't you. It ain't you, bro. It ain't, <laughs> it ain't you, you though. Just so you know, it ain't you. <laughs> One day I'm a I'm a fail, but today you get in the hands. You yeah. know what I'm saying? He's letting them know. <laughs> Which, I like I said, because like it's dark. Yeah. But it's light. Yeah. And it it I like the way they mix it so well together. They're truthing, truthing. They they hitting they hitting hard, bro. Yeah. So would you uh would you like think about the whole volume one soundtrack? Started off pretty cool, and then it got really like, uh, towards the end, it got really like heartfelt. Not gonna lie, last two songs are pretty fire with the with the speaking the truths. But yeah, so I kind of like it. It was pretty good. These soundtracks are they're, they're crazy good. Yeah, the, the last two were, uh, were like the hit up, the home hitters for sure. I mean, yeah, fall and then the I, I wanted to put them on the last. Uh, like I said, it's not the theme, but you're going to hear it. So I yeah. wanted it to be the freshest in your memory because when it comes on, you know, like in battle music, they yeah, bring yeah. it up and it's like, they're okay. You know, I wanted you to have, I wanted you to have that for when it does come back. Come back up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Specifically, because I want you to be like, oh yeah. 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 I know. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, that was a uh, volume one soundtrack. All right. Uh, we're going to move on to the volume two soundtrack. And um, yeah. So follow us on our Twitches. Subscribe to the YouTube, oh, yeah, and uh, yeah. we'll uh, we'll see you in the next one, right? Later. Bye, guys.